Hi everybody, it's Nikki here. Well, actually, this isn't me. This is me. Hi! Uh, you can't see me, just my hands. Ha ha ha. But we are here for my makeup empties for 2022. Uh, I do not do monthly makeup empties because uh, I don't have enough to show you every month. Um, sometimes I have no empties at all and then other months I have loads, it just depends. Um, I don't do makeup, em uh, don't do empties for anything else other than just makeup because I'm, I personally don't mind watching other people's empties videos every month, um, seeing what skincare they're using and things like that because I do like to uh, hear people's reviews. I, I figure that if somebody's used something up completely then they know what they think about it a bit better than if they're just trying it the once. Um, and that's what MT's videos are great for. They're, they're great for reviews. Um, but skincare and uh, hair care and stuff like that is very personal to you and maybe somebody else would would watch me and go yeah I have dry skin too what are you using skincare wise but you know what, there's a lot of empty, it's a lot of rubbish to be keeping in your house and uh, I'm enough of a hoarder without hoarding um, my skincare and um, body care, to be fair not much hair care, uh, empties as well. Uh, so I, I just do makeup. Um, as you can see it's in this little uh, drawer here, uh, these are the old Manny and Lola drawers. And uh, it just sits on my desk underneath my makeup mirror so I can just quickly slip it in. Uh, if I empty a product, I just throw it in the drawer and it's it's tucked away um, so nobody can see it, uh, including myself. Um, so yeah, this is my empties. So let's go through it and uh, I will show you all of the things that I used up in 2022. So here we have my primers. I used up one full size and then three minis. The full size one I used up was this uh, Figs and Rouge uh, primer, uh, the Soft Focus Pore Perfect uh, HD Plus Matte Veil uh, primer. It wasn't a project pan. Um, I got this in a glossy box, I think, um, or a birch box, I don't know, one of the two. Um, and it's taken me this year uh, to finish it off. I haven't had birch box or glossy box in, in years. So uh, it took me a long time to get this uh, finally finished. I did finish it near the beginning of the year, so it has been a long time since I used this. The first when I first started using it I wasn't a massive fan however by the time I did finish this it was an okay primer but it's not something that I would repurchase anyway. I don't know where I can buy Figs and Rouge products from. Uh, don't see it on the high street um, at, like Boots or, or Super Drugs so I, I don't know and I'm not going to go out and um, search for it either. It's just not one that's really stuck in my mind uh, but that was that one. Uh, this one was my Smashbox Photo Finish Smooth and Blur Primer. This was in my 22 in 2022 and it took me a whole year to use up this tiny little thing. Uh, this one has 7.1 millilitres or 0 0.25 floral ounces in it and yeah it took me a whole year but I didn't use this all over my face because it is one of those silicone based primers. Um, uh, so I just used it under my eyes and on my nose, a little bit in my T-zone. Um, and it took me all year, which goes to show you, you sometimes these little samples are well worth uh, getting. This one is not technically a primer. I don't know if you would class it as a primer. Um, I did cut it open because I loved it so much and I have since purchased a full size. But this was the MAC Strobe Cream in Pink Light. Yep, pink light, so the, the pink toned one, and I absolutely loved this little primer. This gave me such a glow on my skin. I do have very dry skin, so applying this as a primer uh, on my cheek area uh, just really brightened up my face uh, beneath my foundation, and uh, I really did like it. So that is why I have gone on to purchase the full size. 
And then last but not least, again, cut open because I did like this little thing, but I haven't gone on to repurchase this. This is the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in the original. Um, lighting's not great. Um, but um, yeah, I zipped through this little thing so fast. I don't know if I was over applying it. But to be honest, um, eye primers is not something that I need an abundance of. I have the MAC Painterly Paint Pot, uh, which I use as an eye primer. Um, but generally, nine times out of ten, I just uh, use whatever foundation or concealer is on my sponge to go over my uh, eyelids with. And that kind of preps my eyelids anyway. So I don't need a, a separate eye primer is basically what I'm saying. So... I used up one full size primer and three minis, but they all count as one primer each in my makeup inventory. So that's four primers I used in 2022. Okay, so for foundation, you can see that I used up one full size and then one sample size. The full size one is the Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation. I was in the shade F4. It is that one. Was it that one with the big dofer? Yeah, the one with the big dofer applicator. Look at that size of that. Um, completely empty, as you can see. So nice. Um, I did like this foundation. I really, really did. Uh, this is one of my daughter's favourite foundations. Um, but for me, I'm trying to stay away from the full coverage foundations now. I am getting older and full coverage is really only good for me for when I'm filming. Um, but on a day-to-day -day basis, when I'm going out shopping or doing whatever, full coverage is not necessary for me. So um, I won't be repurchasing this one, but I did enjoy it. And this one was um, in my 22 in 2022 project pan. And it was just a sample of the YSL Touche Clat uh, in um, the Awakening Foundation uh, with SPF 22. Uh, it doesn't say a shade. I don't know. Uh, but there was just uh, 5 mils or 0.16 floral uh, ounces in here. Um, and I did actually like this foundation. It was really, really nice. It was a good shade match for me. And I did really like it. But um, YSL, very expensive brand. And um, as I say, I I don't know. If I got another sample of this, I would happily give it some use. But I'm not going to go out and, and um, purposely buy this. It's It wasn't one that I was like, oh, I must need a full size of this. Um, it was nice while I used it but I have no inclination to go and purchase it. So again, one full size, one mini, but they count as one each in the inventory. So that is two foundations used up in 2022. So for concealers, I have three of them here. The first one is the Revolution Conceal and Define. Again, I'm in the shade C4. Um, this one was really, really nice. It was one of the smaller ones um, before they brought out the larger size. Um, this was really good. It lasted me right up until the end of the year. I was, I probably still have maybe a couple of days more use out of this. Um, if I scrape the sides, I could probably get a couple more days out of it. Um, but it is pretty much done. This was in my... Um, I actually chose this product as my concealer to pan for 2023. And then within the week, I was really struggling to get product out of the product. So I took the stopper out and uh, realised that, well, it was... I don't know if you can see, pretty empty in there. Um... So, yeah, <laughs> um, one down already on my products to I plan to pan in 2023. Uh, I finished it in 2022 instead. So, um, yeah, that was fun. Um, this one is the Revolution Conceal and Hydrate uh, Concealer. And I was in the shade C3 in this one. And as you can see from the packaging... This one is completely empty. Can you see that? Right down at the bottom there. 
uh, completely empty. Um, this one, I will admit, I got to just about the bottom here. There was product left in the bottom here and I went to use it and I gave it a smell and it was like, oh, no, that does not smell good. But because I was right down at the bottom here, um, I decided to call it quits, but I did clean out the bottle um, just because I didn't want that smell permeating my makeup drawer. Um, so, or my empties makeup drawer. Um, so that's why I cleaned it out. So I didn't completely use this one up, but as I say, it was just down to the bottom here. Um, so I had used at least uh, two thirds, almost uh, three quarters of this. So um, I called it an empty for the year. And then this one is the collection Lasting Perfection uh, Concealer. I was in the shade Fair. And this was in uh, my... Ooh, what was this one in? I think this is Pantasy uh, Project Pan. Um, and I finished it up in the year during that Project Pan. Um, I do like the Lasting Perfection Concealer. I do have another one in the new packaging. Um... So yeah, it's a it's an oldie but a goodie. Um, so yeah, um, all full sizes here, despite this one being slightly shorter, um, because when they brought this one out, people were going through it within a month. Um, so they brought out the bigger ones instead. Um, but they are actually all full size. So that is three full size concealers in one year. One year. Um, I've never done that, but that's because like a lot of these were mostly used up before the start of the year anyway. Um, so I think the only full one when I started the year was this one. Uh, these two had some usage on them already at the beginning of the year. So yeah. Um, but yeah, three full size concealers during 2022. Okay. So <laughs> itty bitty, uh, just the one powder, just the one powder out of my collection, uh, empty uh this year this was the Kat Von D uh locket um yeah locket translucent powder this had 1.4 grams or 0 0.049 ounces in it um it was okay um uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't scream about it I wouldn't shout about it it was fine it wasn't anything special this was in my 22 in 2022 project pan and I did finish it up pretty quickly um, I kind of used it mostly for underneath my eyes um, because I was never going to get a face brush in there um, so I just really used it for under my eyes powders um, I go through uh, pressed powders quicker than I do um, loose powders um, but um, yeah, I didn't finish more than just the one this year. I did. No, I didn't finish it. I, I, yeah. So that is that one. So one powder finished in 2022. Okay, moving on to bronzers. I managed to finish two this year. The first one was this Hula from Benefit. Um, I managed to finish this up entirely. Now these might look like they're mini deluxe samples, um, but these can last you an awfully long time. You really, really, really uh, don't need uh, more than what came in here, um, especially if you want to have more than one bronzer in your collection. These little ones are so perfect. I don't know if they still do them anymore since they uh, brought out some new blushes and things in their collection. Um, but these were just the perfect size for justifying having more than one bronzer in your collection because they were just so, so much product in them for such tiny little packaging. Um, absolutely love the Hoola bronzer from Benefit. Would definitely repurchase this again in the future if I could. But I would purchase it in this little um, package if if I could get my hands on them, if they're still doing them, because l this literally did last me years. Um, so um, God knows how long the full size bronzer um, in the cardboard packaging would actually last me. But um, if I saw one in uh, this packaging again, I would definitely 
rushed to pick it up because it was such a beautiful shade on me. Um, it was suitable all year round and um, I don't get much of a tan in the summer because uh, I'm an indoor kind of person. Um, uh, I, I wouldn't say I hate the sun, but I, I'm, I'm not a fan of it. Um, but yeah, so this suited me all year round and I absolutely loved it. This one um, is the Revolution Skin Kiss uh, bronzer. Um, however, the original bronzer that was in here was actually a cream bronzer and I hated it so much um, that I uh, ended up decluttering that product. And then I ended up repressing into here some bronzers that were in a Revolution face palette. Uh, the bronzers that I ended up crushing into here one was too dark, one was too light, and one was too shimmery. So I crushed them all together and um, and pressed them into here because obviously that was three uh, bl uh, bronzers that were maybe a gram of product each because they were in uh, a, a big face palette. Um, and I pressed them all into here and I've been using this one up. I finished this one in my This Is Pantasy. Um, I started using it in This Is Pantasy round two, one. I started using this in Pantasy, This Is Pantasy round one and I finished it off uh, very early in my This Is Pantasy round two um because i was so close to finishing it and i just wanted to share that moment with you guys so uh yeah i finished it in this is fantasy round two and uh so chuffed to have this large packaging now out of my collection i'm not gonna keep this around uh for uh repressing into in the future because it's just it's just too big it doesn't fit into my drawers and my uh storage uh boxes so um, if anything, I would repress into something like this rather than something like this in the future um, because this is easier to store than this. Uh, so although, yes, this is classed as a deluxe mini, that is two bronzers out of my collection for 2022. So can you believe it, guys? I finished a blush in 2022. Yes, you saw me go for this in, uh, this was in Panna's Bingo, I believe. I put this in as my centre square, like a deluxe sample uh, to pan. And a lot of you called me crazy. I felt crazy for doing it. This is Benefits Rocketer Blush, again, in this beautiful little packaging. But again, it lasted me so long um seriously blushes should come in this size and this size alone anything bigger than this you just you just ask him for trouble um absolutely loved this shade again it was one of those shades i could wear all year round it was so beautiful so subtle i could build it up to be a bit more bolder or i could sheer it out to be a, a little bit more subtle it was just the perfect blush i had no problems pulling for this day in day out because i just loved the color that much on my cheeks um it was so gorgeous i don't believe that they do rocketer anymore since they did bring out some new shade ranges i think obviously uh, to to suit more skin tones they brought out a whole new range of blushes and I didn't see Rocketer in any of that um, but maybe one of the new blushes is very similar to Rocketer in shade and tone and stuff um, so I will probably have to do a little bit of research and um, and look it up but um, I have enough blushes so uh, we all know I don't need to be buying any more but I am so proud. This is my greatest achievement for 2022. Uh, I finished a blush. 2022 is the year I finished a blush. Doesn't happen often, but I finished a blush in 2022. So that is one out of my collection. I mean, I added another 10 to my collection this year, but we, shh, we don't talk about that. Okay, there was no, no uh, highlighters uh, this year. Again, highlighters and blushes that they're, they're just i never use them up it's just so strange okay moving on okay so moving on to lip liners um this one is not a mini it just was one of those that you can't open uh 
that you sharpen down so is this one so this was the revolution lipstick uh, lip liner sorry in noble it was this beautiful uh, brown shade here uh, very very nice um, really really enjoyed this one uh, but very very old in my collection so it was time that this one got used up um, so yeah I finished that one and then this one is the sleek twist up lip pencil in deep cherry this one was way too deep it didn't matter what lipstick I put over it this would overpower that lipstick and just turn it this very deep cherry shade um so yeah i was really glad to finally get this finished and out of my collection it won't twist up anymore uh, it was just too strong of a color i like a bold lip but this really took over any lipstick uh, that I applied it over uh, or underneath, should I say. Um, even if I put on a bright pink lipstick, it would turn this shade if I applied this first. That's how strong this lip liner was. So as much as I like the color, I don't want all my lipsticks to be this color. So uh, I'm quite glad to have this one out of my collection. Uh, it was just too deep for what I wanted. Um, but yeah, two lip liners out of my collection uh, in 2022. Okay, so no actual lipsticks were used up in 2022, but I did have these samples which I wanted to show you. I had these three Huda Beauty samples. I had a uh, Lady Boss, which was quite a nice colour. Catwalk Killer, I really liked. Um, yeah, definitely enjoyed that one. This one I would have loved to purchase. However, I did notice that this one was very similar to um, to this uh, Maybelline Colorstay liquid lipstick in the shade Visionary. Um, so these two were actually a very, very similar color. So I'm not too mad that I couldn't find a full size of this one. I did have a look on a couple of websites like Cult Beauty and Beauty Bay and stuff like that. And, uh, Feel Unique, which is obviously now Sephora UK, uh, to see if I could find this liquid lipstick in Provocateur. Um, but then when I realized it was very close to this shade Visionary, Visionary is slightly darker than Provocateur by Huda Beauty, um, but they're pretty much the same tone. So, um, you know, just different shades, uh, different ones darker, ones lighter. Um, so, uh, you know, I'm quite happy to continue to use this one that's already in my collection. So, yeah, um, I... I liked these samples. I got about two or three uses out of them. Depends on how frugal I was with them. Um, but yeah, I really liked those. Then I have um, these two uh, lipstick uh, foils were from Urban Decay. This one was in uh, Psycho. And it was kind of like a very vibrant pink with uh, blue like glitter particles in it. So um, if it caught the light, you had like a blue shimmer to it. Really not my colour. Did not enjoy wearing this, but I did finish it up. And this dark purple was in the shade, uh, I don't know, it's rubbed off. I think it was blackmail, not 100% sure, but I think it was blackmail. Um... But I really, really did like this and um, I ended up purchasing a purple lipstick uh, to try and recreate uh, this colour on my lips. Um, but I bought the purple lipstick from MAC uh, because they had the shade Heroin, which was the perfect Cadbury's uh, purple uh, that I love. So um, yeah, I ended up purchasing that because I loved this purple on my lips so much. And then this were sample is actually from mac and it is the um what's it called um soft focus kind of um formula in marrakeshmere absolutely stunning so beautiful i do actually now own a full size of this 
um, because I uh, was able to get one uh, as a free gift with purchase. Um, but in that same parcel that I um, got from Mac with my order and my uh, full size um, free gift of Marrakeshmere was some samples of uh, that formula and Marrakeshmere was one of the samples. So I just used up the sample before I uh, turned to the full size one. Um, but yeah, so three um, foil samples. These take a lot longer to use up. Um, they do take me more like a month of usage, um, a month to two months to use these up. Um, and uh, these, as I say, were only sort of like two or three uses per um, sample. So, yeah, no full size lipsticks or mini lipsticks, but definitely a couple of samples out of my collection. So I am happy with that. <laughs> For liquid lips, I only used up one mini this year. This is the NYX Lip Lingerie in the shade Exotic. Um, I was gifted um, a couple of these minis um, from uh, a lady that I used to watch on YouTube. I don't watch her so much nowadays. I'm still subscribed to her, but um, I don't watch her videos as often as I used to because she's more lifestyle now uh, rather than makeup. Uh, so, um, so yeah, I don't watch her videos as often. Um, but she gifted me these when uh, she got these in her her NYX advent calendar one year and I happened to comment on her video saying that um, I love the NYX lip lingerie formula um, and she had said that she didn't like the formula of these um, so she didn't know what what to do with these when she got them in the advent calendar. I wasn't fishing for her to send me them um, I was just saying oh I like the the lip lingerie formula um, it's a shame that you don't like them um and she then reached out to me and said hey do you want to take them off my hands and i was like yeah okay then if you if you want to um so yeah uh, that's how i received uh, a few of these but this was my last one to use up from the few that she sent me uh so i'm really glad to have this out of my collection it was a beautiful sort of brick red kind of color um, which if I'm going to wear a red, it's either going to be a very deep red or it's going to be a brick red. Um, I'm not one for like bright reds. So this was a beautiful colour for me to wear, but happy that I finished a liquid lipstick. And I think this might be the only one I finished um, in quite a few years. So very happy with that one. So for uh, lip gloss, I managed to use up three this year. This e.l.f. one I was just using uh, on my uh, desk in my uh, reading room, my spare room, um, just to uh, apply whenever my lips felt a little bit dry. Instead of using a lip balm, I got into the habit of applying a lip gloss. It's a very shiny green reflection um on there um and this one also uh was a like um a lip plumping gloss so it had a bit of a tingle to it um i didn't see my lips grow exponentially um massively um so i don't quite know like the use of that but um <sighs> These types of lip, lip glosses I want to stay away from in the future because this shimmery formula, it's, it's just a real like mutton dressed as lamb. <laughs> I can't wear this if I go out in public, absolutely not. But um, yeah, uh, I want to stay away from these shimmery types of lip glosses in the future. So that is why I also used up this one. Uh, this one is the Disney's The Little Mermaid. Um, lip gloss from I Heart Revolution was it was it Revolution or I Heart Revolution I Heart Revolution um, again it's that one with that shimmery sort of formula um, I used this one up pretty quickly this one went so fast on me it was such an easy one to use yes there is a little bit left in there I probably could get quite a bit of use left out of that but you know what um, I took the stopper out 
uh, and it's it's pretty empty in there. I'm quite happy with how much use I got out of it. Um, could I get some more uses out of it? Probably, uh, but that's only because it's had time to settle and uh, sort of accumulate at the bottom here. But at the time, yeah, I I, I was scraping the barrel. So again, this formula was very very thin. So it went very, very quickly and I'm, I'm trying to stay away from these shimmery lip glosses in the future. But these lip glosses were amazing. This is the MAC Lip Gloss in the shade uh, Tick Talk of the Town. It was from last year's uh, 2021's Christmas collection with this beautiful um, sort of candy sort of uh, packaging. This was a gorgeous nude shade. I would happily wear this going out in public. Um, it was no shimmer at all. It was just a stunning sort of um, glossy nude look. And uh, I really, really enjoyed this one. I did use this up in a project. I can't remember which project pan it was, but I really did enjoy this formula. And I have quite a few of these in my collection now. Um, so I will be uh, happy to use those others up. Um, but that is three lip glosses out of my collection for 2022. Okay, so for lip treatments, uh, lip balms, lip scrubs and that kind of thing, um, I used up three. So the first one of these is my girl Ursula. This is the uh, Mad Beauty Cherry Lip Balm in this pot type style. I try not to purchase these types of lip balms anymore because I don't like getting my finger in there and getting it all gunked up underneath my nails. Um, but I mean, it had Ursula on it. I have another one that's got Ariel on it, which I'm currently using. Uh, but once I've used these up, I won't be uh, purchasing any more in this style. Um, I'd much prefer like the stick formula, uh, so much more easier to apply. Um, but yeah, um, I am keeping this little tub. It's going on my bookshelves, on my uh, mermaid books uh, shelf. And um, yeah, I, I can't throw this away. I can't, I can't put this in the bin. It's got my girl Ursula on it. Like, I love her so much. She's my idol. We don't talk about her being evil. Um, she's sassy. <laughs> she's confident. <laughs> she knows what she wants and she goes to get it. Um, the fact that she's evil along with it. We'll just, shh, don't talk about that. But yeah, um, I did like this formula. It was very easy to apply and it did uh, moisturize my lips. Um, but again, I'm staying away from these tub type formulas. Also as well, some of these tubs I can't get open. So I have to end up passing them to my husband to open. Um, and uh, yeah, so um, these tap, this type of formula is better to apply. It's easier for me to open. Uh, so, yeah, I like the product, but not the packaging. Well, I do like the packaging. It's got Ursula on it, but OK, <laughs> we'll stop waffling now. OK, so this is a lip smacker uh, in the Coca-Cola um, flavour, I suppose. Um, there is some of it left, but um, I've, I've tried to, to twist it. It's not coming up anymore and it's just scraping along my lips. I've just got it under my nails. Uh, it's just scraping along my lips now. I'm not going to dig the, the uh, product out. Um, I'm just not about that, really. Um, so, yeah, I really did like this. I like that Coca-Cola uh, taste, basically. Um, I have not been able to drink Coke um, for about a year now. Um, a year to 18 months. I haven't been able to drink anything fizzy. Um, I, I'm having some stomach issues. Um, so having the Coca-Cola flavoured lip balm was my way of still getting that taste. Uh, I wasn't licking it off my lips, but you know, when you put something on your lips, you can taste it. Um, so yeah, it was <laughs> for a girl who can't drink Coke anymore. This was really nice. <laughs> um, so I used that one up. This one is uh, from Collection and is the You Do You Lip Oil. Um, it's peeling off because I kept trying to pull the packaging aside so I could see how far down I was. But as you can see, it is all empty. It's also quite gunky in there. Um, this was a doe foot applicator. I really, really 
liked this lip oil and if I saw this again on uh, the collection stand uh, in town I would definitely pick this up again this was such a beautiful product um, whenever I had really dry lips and I, I do get really dry lips at times certain times of the year this sorted them out within 24 hours it was so such a good product. I really love this. Um, really sad that I finished it and couldn't repurchase it. I can't find it anywhere. Um, but um, I managed to find another lip oil from Revolution. But um, yeah, um, I've managed to finish three lip balm type of treatments uh, in the year of 2022. Moving on to eyeliners. I have two here that have been sharpened and these two are twist ups. These two are from Avon. They are the Avon True Color Glimmer Stick Diamonds Eyeliner. This one is in silver lights, which was a beautiful sort of shimmery, shiny, silvery, mauvey kind of color. And then this one is in the shade Sugar Plum, which was more of a purple shade. I hope you can see that. Um, these were really really nice actually um at first the silver lights one wasn't very it didn't stand out very well the the sugar plum one being a more like maroon type of color stood out a lot more uh but you didn't have it didn't look like you had red eye or anything like that which was really nice as can sometimes happen with a maroon uh sort of eyeliner but the silver lights one um Eventually, I realized that um, if I applied it to each eye first, allowed it to dry a little bit, and then went over it again, it would stand out much better. And I really, really like the shade. Um, I would definitely repurchase these from Avon again in the future. They were really nice. They were really creamy. They weren't scratchy. Um, I did really like them. And they did have that bit of shimmer in them as well, uh, which I really liked as well. But it, it didn't feel like... I wasn't worried about that shimmer getting in my eye and, and irritating my eyes at all. Uh, so, yeah, I really like them ones. This one was from L'Oreal, I believe, and it was in the shade Resting Khaki. It was this beautiful khaki shade. Um, I loved this one so much. It was so creamy right until the end. It never dried out on me, and I had this one for years. But it was so creamy and so soft. Uh, sometimes the actual product in the uh, pencil would uh, squish down a little bit it was that soft um, if I try to apply it too hard so I had to be soft and gentle with this one but I absolutely loved this shade on my eyelids and I have since gone out and uh, purchased another sort of khaki green kind of eyeliner uh, from a different brand I, I actually purchased this one from Essence um, Essence is cheaper than L'Oreal, let, let's face it, um, because I just loved this shade on my waterline so, so much. It suited my eye looks so much. I do have um, what's, hazel eyes. I have hazel eyes um, and this colour just suited my eye look so, so perfectly. Um, so, yeah, I really love that one. And this one is my Lottie London um, eyeliner in the shade Mermaid. It was a gorgeous uh, sort of teal blue. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, there it is. Um, unfortunately, this one did dry out on me. So it went pretty quickly once I started to use it more. Um, because it just kept breaking on me. Every time I would sharpen it, it would break. I'd sharpen it again. It would break. It would sharpen, break, sharpen. So this ended up going really quickly right at the end. Um because it would it just kept breaking on me it was so dried up this formula however is the best eyeliner formula i have ever ever used once i applied this onto my uh, waterline it would not budge it would still be there at the end of the day and i did have watery eyes i i still do have watery eyes um but the lottie london formula in this am to pm um eyeliner was just perfect I cannot find these anymore. Uh, I I can find some Lottie London products. Um, all right, dog, calm yourself down. Um, but I cannot find these AM to PM uh, eyeliners anymore, which is a damn shame because I would definitely repurchase this mermaid shade um, if I if I found it and I would get more use out of it. 
sooner rather than later because it does dry up really really quickly so yeah so that is four eyeliners out of my collection in 2022 okay so for cream eyeshadows i managed to fill up uh, finish up my maybelline color tattoo in permanent top this was an absolutely stunning shade it was a very um matte brown shade which a lot of people would probably look at and think yeah absolutely not but this shade and i'll get you my full size one to show you so i did go and repurchase it so this is actually the shade um, that this one was and I finished it and repurchased it. So this is the shade. It's a matte brown shade and you look at this and you go, oh no, uh, I don't want that. But apply this as a base and then put over the top some like bronzy or golden eyeshadows and it really gives it a, that such depth to the eye look. It's absolutely stunning, such a perfect product for those bronzy, neutral brown kind of eye looks. It just makes them pop so much more off the eyelid. I absolutely love this product. I could not live without it now. Um, so yeah, that's why I repurchased it. But I did finish my original one um, all up. I was so happy to get this done this year, um, but I missed it. I, I didn't intend on repurchasing it um because i had other um cream eyeshadows that i could use as a base instead but i just loved what this did to my eye looks so much and i just felt like the other cream eyeshadows in my collection weren't doing the same thing and that's why i went ahead and repurchased it again so i finished one cream eyeshadow in the month uh, in the month in the year of 2022 Okay, so for mascaras, I finished up four full size and one mini mascara. The mini mascara I finished was the Benefit Their Real Mascara. This one, to be honest, I can't remember much about it. Ah, yes. This one was great for like my lower lashes. Um, that brush was just so, so good at catching those lower lashes. And oh, Jesus, look what you're doing, Nicola. Look at that. Um, so um yeah and because it was a mini um i really like to use the minis for my lower lashes uh because i don't have many lower lashes <laughs> uh so going in with the mini brush uh was so much uh better um because it's just such a shorter thing for me to hold on to um it was easier for me to get into those lower lashes um easier uh so yeah i really liked it i didn't like these bauble things at the end can you see those at the end of the stick um they kept catching me and um i didn't like it um so i wish it didn't have those but um yeah it was great formula um i didn't have too many issues with it i don't remember hating it or disliking it too much but um yeah i used that one up this uh bourgeois uh push up volume glamour mascara um to be honest i don't remember much about this one. Oh yeah this one was really thick um the brushes on this can you see those bristles they're really really sparse so what this one was good for was for separating my lashes um and not having them all clumped together but the formula was very dry um so my lashes did end up <laughs> clumping um but yeah it was okay um i don't remember too much about it um i just remember that it was very good for separating my lashes because of that sparse brush um but yeah that was that one i don't think bourgeois are around anymore at least i haven't seen them around uh for quite some while so they're, they're no longer sold in superdrug i don't think so i don't know what's happened to that one this one this is my third um time i've purchased this product and the second time that i've managed to find it with this gorgeous camo uh british flag on there um i love this packaging if i find it in this packaging i will always purchase it in this packaging i love that um but this is the rimmel extra 3d lash mascara 
As I say, this is the third time I purchased this one. I just find this to be such a perfect, my perfect mascara. The wand on this one is kind of like a teardrop. So um, it's wider. Well, it's more like a paddle, I should say. So it's wider in the centre and then thinner at the ends. The brush is so good. Um... The, the bristles are shorter at the ends and longer in the middle. Just really good at getting those lashes more defined. Um, as I say, would definitely repurchase the Rimmel Extra 3D Lash Mascara again in the future. I probably need to pick one up because um, I like to always have one in my stash and I don't currently have one. Because if I want to know that my mascara is going to look good, the Rimmel Extra 3D Lash will always do it for me every single time. It's one I can rely on. Um, so, yeah, I do want to repurchase this one again for the fourth time. So that tells you how much I absolutely love this mascara. And in this packaging, it's just gorgeous. Anyway, moving on. This is the MAC Mascara. It's just their normal one. Uh, the Extreme Dimension 3D Black Lash Mascara. Um... I've got to say that this one was not my favourite. Uh, there is the brush there. As you can see, there's not much definition in those bristles. Uh, they're all very, very short. This one was only really good for my bottom lashes. My top lashes, I just kept poking myself in the eye with it. Um, <laughs> so this one I generally tended to use on my bottom lashes. Also as well, I think this one transferred, so I would find it smudged onto... Um, my lower uh i uh, like um, i would end up looking like panda eyes that's what i'm trying to say it was smudging all over me um so yeah i wasn't a massive fan of this one um the bristles just the no definition at all um this one was only really good for the lower lash line uh so that is that one then this one, oh my god, this one. Uh, this is the number seven Lash Impact Ultra um, for volume, false lash volume, apparently. Um, really annoyed because I have another one of these and I did not like this one. Uh, so as you can see, there's the brush uh, bristles. Um, again, it's kind of like that kind of paddle um type of brush where the bristles are longer in the middle and shorter around the edges which is great it's like the Rimmel 3D lash brush but this formula transfers so badly um multiple times I found this transferring uh, onto my lower lash line and uh, smudging and uh, yeah just just a messy product um which is really annoying because I've got another one of these that I need to use up in 2023. Um, but after that, I will not repurchase it. Um, it's okay for filming because I don't have my makeup on for filming for very long. Uh, but going out in public, absolutely would not trust this mascara at all um, because it just transfers so badly on me. So that is that one. So we had four full-size mascaras, one mini, but I count them all as one in my makeup inventory. So that is five mascaras out uh, in the year 2022. Okay, so um, our last bit of makeup really uh, for the end. I do have, I should have, should I say, I should have one of these as well, but I can't find it anywhere. And so this is one that still has still here product in there but i did use up a mini of the urban decay all nighter i used it up in my 22 in 2022 project pan but i don't know what i've done with the packaging i haven't put it in the drawer that all of these empties went into um so i don't know what i've done maybe i've put it somewhere to use for when i'm traveling or something it's maybe in my um travel makeup bag or something um but I did use up one of these. I just can't find the packaging. So this is one that I currently have product in. Uh, but I did use up one of these. And then I have two from Revolution. I have the Revolution Sport Fix Extra Hold Makeup Fixing Spray. This one was really, really good. 
I have heard someone compare this one to the Urban Decay All Nighter. Um, I haven't really noticed the similarities, but then I don't really take that much notice, to be honest. Um, but um, I would definitely repurchase the Revolution um, fixing sprays again in the future. They're a great price point for me. Their spray bottles are really nice. Uh, they don't deposit too too much or too little. Uh, they're just the right kind of packaging for them um, and got the right kind of consistency in the spray, if you know what I mean. Um, so yeah, um, but I would probably choose the Glow Fix over the Sport Fix, just simply because this one I felt gave me a little bit more of a glow, hence the Glow Fix, um, which is something that I look for in my makeup uh, because, again, I don't like that matte look. I prefer a much more glowy look. So this is the one that I would probably purchase over the Sport Fix one. But I did like both of these. Um, but yeah, if I could only choose one, I'd go for the Glow Fix. But chances are I'll probably repurchase both of these in the future if I see them on sale. So I did use up, um, even though this one is counted as a mini, I still count it as one in my makeup inventory. So I finished up three uh, fixing sprays in 2022. Seriously, move over. Um, okay, so last but not least, we have my nail polishes because I do count these in my makeup inventory. We have two like base coat, top coat kind of products and then two coloured products here. So the first one is this tiny little Mavala bottle, um, which was the Mavala Stop. This is one of those uh, that is to help you stop biting your nails. Now, I don't typically bite my nails, but I do have a horrible habit of biting the skin around my nails uh, which i believe is is something to do with anxiety but you know we all know i have that um so applying this onto my nails um stopped me from biting the skin around my nails because obviously i would get the taste of this from my nails um so it did stop me from doing that there is a little bit left in the bottle um but i can't get this bottle open it won't open anymore like yeah that won't open it's it's glued shut but i have used the majority of it it was right down at the bottom here um so i'm classing this as done um i would definitely repurchase this or something similar to this in the future um because i do still have that nasty horrible habit um, that I mentioned and um, I want to stop doing that I really really want to stop doing that um, but the only way I can seem to stop is when this is on my nails or something similar so uh, yeah I did use that up the next one I used up was my Orly won't chip top coat this one I was using as my top coat during my Zodiac Panas project pan and I managed to use it all up through that project pan it wasn't part of the project but it was the top coat that i was using for the majority of it um it says it won't chip <laughs> that's that's the name of it however my nail polish did still chip so um it doesn't do what it says on the uh bottle uh because my nail polish still chipped um it was a nice nice um uh, top coat but that brush was just too thin and didn't really cover much nail so I was having to go over the nail numerous times and sometimes that would actually uh, not be good for my manicure so um, I probably won't repurchase this one uh, because I prefer a thicker brush um, on my nail polishes and that brush was just way too thin and as I say my nail polish still chipped, so it did not do what it said it would do. <coughs> These two coloured nail polishes are both from L'Oreal. This one is the Gold Obsessions one in this beautiful gold, shimmery gold shade. This was in the shade Pure Gold. I absolutely love this one. There is a little bit left at the bottom, but it is so thick and gloopy in there now. It was very difficult 
to get even just one finger painted with this so I called it quits on it yes I could get some thinner and use that last little bit up but I feel like I got my money's worth out of this little bottle and I'm quite happy uh, with where it's at now uh, so I am calling this completed um, and uh, yeah I really really love these gold obsession uh, nail polishes from L'Oreal but unfortunately they don't do them anymore um, which is a shame but um, yeah I really really love these nail polishes so so nice um, yeah and I was able to use this all up and then as I say this one is also from L'Oreal this one is in the shade Rouge Pinup and it was a red nail varnish um, I think this was in a project pan I can't honestly remember it's got some markings so I think at some point it must have been in a project pan um, but um, red is not my favorite color to wear as nail polish or as lipstick um, but this red kind of grew on me in the end um, and I did end up liking this one but um, yeah I have plenty more red nail polishes in my collection I don't need to go and repurchase this one I don't think they make them in these bottles anymore anyway um, and L'Oreal is not the first place I would go to for nail polishes anyway so yeah so that is four nail polishes all used up in the year of 2022 so I did forget to mention these when I talked about foundations uh, but I don't count these in my makeup inventories because they are just uh, samples um, and they don't really last me long enough. The same with the Huda Beauty lip samples that I had. So I had some um, of these sachets from Avon. We had the Power Stay foundation. We had just one of those. And then I had two of these uh, Avon Flawless Liquid foundation. Um in two different shades i had porcelain and light ivory i just kind of mixed them together um with this one into a pot and use them all up that way uh, but these do not count in my makeup inventory but i obviously decided to keep the packaging and then this one was uh, a sample that i got from feel unique sample service which is now obviously sephora uk this is the by terry uh, hyaluronic hydra foundation and um, I got four shades, uh, one was too light, one was too dark, and two were kind of about the right shade. Um, so what I ended up doing was uh, the two that were the kind of the right shade for me, um, I just used them on their own. And then the one that was too light and the one that was too dark, I mixed them together into a tub and they made like... A more natural shade for me um, so that's how I use all these samples when you know you've got a range of colors this is obviously for somebody who is trying to find what color they are um, but um, yeah I um, I definitely uh, did like these and I think I came out more on the cooler side than the warmer shades um, which I never knew about myself um because i like a, a pink based sort of formula um whereas the cool shades are not pink based but anyway um yeah uh, i liked it but like i say i'm not really in the market to buy any new foundations at the moment um and by terry is really expensive so yeah i'm not going to be forking out for that foundation anytime soon so that is that one as well so I also had those finished so those were all my makeup empties without counting these samples uh, I had one <laughs> 39 samples there 39 40 41 42 and then those so 42 um products um as i do count these little foil samples because they um they take more than just a couple of uses but i don't count these samples so 42 products i finished in 2022 that's 
that's a lot of makeup I finished. I'm very happy with that. As I say, proudest moment of the year was finishing a blush. I finished two bronzers, very happy with that. Um, three concealers, so happy with that. Um, so yeah, um, so happy with all of these empties. It was a good year. It was a very good year. Can I do the same in 2023? Not sure because my focus isn't on project panning so much in 2023. It's more about rotating through my collection. Um, but I'm hoping that by rotating through my collection in 2023, a lot of products will get a, uh, some use out of them so that when it comes to 2024, I'll have some products that have already got half used up and that way then I can finish them off quicker um so yeah um that is it that is my makeup empties for 2023 uh 2022 sorry um I'm happy how many empties did you have in the year of 2022 do you do like me and hoard all your empties for the end of year and count them up and uh do a video on them if you have a video of your makeup empties let me know in the comment section down below and i'll check it out if i haven't already done so i've watched quite a few so um yeah how did you do um do you do this or are you not crazy like me i'm not the only one <laughs> I'm not alone in my craziness, okay? We do this. As project planners, we do this. Uh, so that is it. That is the video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, comment and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!